Peggy 3. The first thing to know about jumps is that not all of them should be approached at full throttle. This is because jumping very high means spending more time in the air, making you lose precious seconds. In the case of single jumps, or jumps followed by a corner, you should carry out a controlled jump by releasing the accelerator just before you jump. This means your trajectory will be lower, guaranteeing rapid acceleration and full control of the bike. If you want to jump as far as possible, you should accelerate and pull the right stick back as you approach the top. This will shift the rider's weight onto the back wheel and your jump will have a longer trajectory. This manoeuvre is particularly recommended for longer jumps or to jump over more than one jump at a time. When you are faced with a series of jumps, try pulling a controlled wheelie. Pull the right stick back and accelerate decisively to pull the front wheel up. This allows the rear shock absorbers to absorb the effects of the uneven ground. Remember that there is no definitive rule regarding how to best approach each jump and it often depends on each rider's style. Only training and knowledge of the track will let you know what's best for your riding style.